Libra, what it be, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again for the month of February. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys for sticking it in with me. I know that this is a late upload. Shout out to everyone who is giving me and my family love and support and well wishes. Um, as some of you guys know, me and my family, we all have very hot temperatures and we were dealing with the flu for a little bit. Um, it took me about like almost a week and a half to kind of get over that. That temperatures went up to like 103.8 you know that's um it was pretty bad and kind of scary so thank you guys so much for everyone that um put out well wishes for me and my family and um thank you guys for the love and support the likes the shares and the subscribes thank you to everyone who has um booked personal and private readings and um even though i was sick i was still um able to you know, once I got better to get all my personal and private readings out. So thank you guys to everyone that, um, you know, purchased personal and private readings with me and everyone that's given um, love donations. It has made it possible to purchase all of these new decks that I have. I just literally purchased seven new decks. Um, as you can see, that's what we are using today here. Um, these set, all, all of these decks are brand new. Um, so again, thank you guys for all of the love and support. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be recording on this camcorder. I would be still recording on, a, on my cell phone and wouldn't be able to give you perfect picture quality that I'm able to do now. Um, thank you guys again for the love and support. If you want to book a personal and private reading, you can click that about tab. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpio Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, that is Scorpio Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. And if this video resonates with you, if it gives you clarity, insight, and just, you know, inspiration to continue moving on in the future. And if you want to, you know, donate a dollar, two dollars, twenty, fifty, whatever you would like to trust and believe, it goes right back into my page and I I have not reached like a certain level of happiness um, in a good little minute before I was able to make this purchase because this little manifestation book here that I have like I've been just like writing down um, like ever since what November like just little things that I want to accomplish and all of this blue stuff that you see here it's stuff that I've accomplished it's things that I was able to pull off like so I just appreciate everything um I appreciate I appreciate all of you guys number one and I just appreciate everything because um what you have today you know it's not guaranteed and people don't understand like you really got to work hard and you have to put love and passion into everything that you do and that's something that I know Libra understands with a great deal I feel like Libras have such a big heart and they're so giving and they're so passionate and they are so loving and caring almost sometimes to um, their detriment and then it's like when people cross them and they get them fucked up then it's like, then you see this whole totally different side of Libra. But it's like, I gave you the opportunity to do right. You know what I'm saying? And people really take someone's kindness for weakness. And I feel like Libra is in this stage right now where it's like, oh no, we're not in no weak bitch stage. Like, those days are, are done. Those days are gone. And I feel like... Libra has worked so fucking hard to be where they're at right now, to be as bold and to be the bad bitch that they're at. I feel like Libra be walking around here with big dick energy and they ain't even got one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they could grab their balls and be like, yeah, with that type of big dick energy ego, like, they would literally grab their balls in front of you and be like, yeah, you can't eat dick. Like, and that's the way I feel and I'm unapologetic about it. And I feel like to someone else that don't know what Libra's been through, it's easy for someone to talk shit, but they never walked in your shoes. Like, I understand why you got that ego, and I'm fucking proud of you. I'm proud of you. I've been waiting for Libra to really be that boss and just be 
who I, you know, it's like to really just be in that energy. So I appreciate, I appreciate my Libras because people don't understand like when you, when you, the things that you have, people don't understand and sacrifice. People don't understand how long you've been praying for the things that you have and the things that you've accomplished. They don't understand that I've been writing these things down in this book. Praying and, and manifesting for everything that I have here on this table. For every everything that makes me happy. Like I have literally. I have put focus and intent and love and prayer into everything that I have. And to what I have today. And I really do resonate with Lib Libra on that path and on that journey and only thing i can say is i take my hats off and fucking respect like big up big the fuck up because y'all need to be acknowledged and y'all need to know y'all worth and that y'all are worthy and everything that you left behind leave that shit behind because you are fucking worthy you are fucking worthy and you deserve to have a clear space a clear place i feel like right now libra has really cleaned the slate and it's like they can really create whatever they want brand new and these motherfuckers ain't even scared like libra like that, that that's the thing people don't know about libra it's no bitch in no libra do you hear me it's no fucking bitch in libra y'all too close to on that scorpio line y'all too close to the scorpio and libra line like they ain't no bitch nowhere in there you understand what I'm saying? Y'all just have soft fucking hearts and people take y'all kindness for Libra. I mean, take y'all kindness for Libra. They take your kindness for Libra because you be having to balance that ass the fuck out. That's cool. You'll, you'll balance that shit out. You will balance that motherfucking scale for their ass real quick, won't you, Libra? But anyway, I've been talking too much. Excuse me, was talking too much. Father, please give the sign of Libra guidance. For the month of February, I talk so much, Father God, and I know you were with me as I was speaking. Father, please give the sign of Libra guidance for the month of February. Thank you so much for all the blessings and all of the lessons and all of the power and the strength and endurance, okay? And durability, okay? That you've given the sign of Libra. Please give us blessings and give us messages for the sign of Libra for February. Thank you again, Father God. We're talking about durability, honey. Duracell. Make it last longer. What, bitch? What? See, motherfuckers, they be they 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 be trying to count a motherfucker out. They be thinking that, oh, you know, if I step away from Libra, if you know, Libra, Libra can't do. Ain't, ain't, ain't gonna be able to hold on ain't gonna, ain't gonna be able to do this and this and that without me bitch check again check again bitch Duracell okay what fuck you thought this was or the energizer buddy whichever the fuck one it is okay nigga I slay body man for fun me no play with fuck niggas okay don't be trying to interrupt my dreams and trying to come in my space and my place with your treachery and your fucking debaucherous bullshit. Nigga, I will chop your head off and leave you right there where you lay, nigga. Get the fuck off. Look, in, in my bed, in my bed. Yeah, you ain't know I had that rock in the front of my pillow, did, did ya, bitch? You ain't know I had that, yeah, right up under that pillow. You thought you was coming over here to do what? What? Y'all need to stop playing with my Libras. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and Judgment. Come on now. Damn, you busting out the door with all major arcanas. You busting in the door, waving in the faux faux. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Bitch, what? The King of Wands? And what is this? In the world? Come on now. Come on. Sir, you taking too long bringing that offer. Come on, where's you? Why is you taking so long, honey? My world is about to move the fuck on, on without you, bitch. Without you, bitch. Listen, let me tell you. Listen to me. Listen to me, Belinda. We talking to Belinda today because Belinda be on her gangster shit. Belinda don't. See, Linda hard-headed. Linda don't know how to listen. Belinda is her ghetto-ass sister from, you know, Southeast D.C. Yeah. That's the hood, bitch. Okay? 
Linda, she from the Merlins. Linda from the Merlins. You understand what I'm saying? She got a nice yard, and you know what I'm saying? She lived close to the mall and everything like that. And she got all the cute fashions and shit because her, you know, her family got nice little government jobs and shit. But then you got Belinda. That's her half sister. Okay, did she live in a fucking project? She, she, she from, you know, Bury Farms and shit like that. She still be fly and shit like that, but she got that street knowledge, that that gangster. You understand what I'm saying? She got that book smart and that street smart, and she cute to the motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? So we 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 dealing with Belinda because when you tell Belinda something, Belinda get that shit because she bought that action. You understand what I'm saying? So like this is the other side of Libra on that Libra scale. You know, Libra be off that Linda shit, be off that you know, sweet little Linda. Uh huh. Where well, you gotta keep it like this. Listen, Linda. Linda! Because Linda don't be listening. Linda don't be listening. Do you understand what I'm saying? But, but Linda, that's when Libra done got fed the fuck up because motherfuckers is trying to be toxic and be in their life on the bullshit. Do you understand? And they think that they're going to lay there and keep fucking them. Okay, with this low toxic, low vibrational energy all up in the fucking mix. Okay, they think that they about that that you about to be played with out here. No, that's when Belinda got to step in. Belinda got to step in like dun da da da, bitch off some judgment. Okay, bitch, I'm calling judgments. Okay, I'm calling my people that need to come on to me. Okay, my good. Ones, yeah, the ones that you ain't been doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm leaving your ass in the ditch, bitch. I'm leaving you in the ditch, okay? So it's like, you know, y'all don't bought Belinda the fuck out because Belinda is not here to play, Belinda is here to slay and without delay. Without delay, okay? Because let me tell you something. Belinda done came through and had to snatch Linda ass up and be like, Look, I know you, my sister, okay? And you be with the sweet shit, but it ain't no more sweet shit. We need to be on some fixed energy ass type shit. We need to be on some gangster ass shit, okay, bitch? Okay, like I said, you got that Leo and you got that Scorpio on the right and the left of you, bitch. You need to figure out which side you about to grab hold of them because both of them on some... Look, both Leo and, and Scorpio is not to be played with, bitch. So you can figure out which fixed energy that you about to fuck with, honey. Okay, okay. Figure it out, cause bitch, the wheel about to start turning, and niggas about to start learning what the fuck the real deal, okay? Cause we the real McCoy around this motherfucker. We the real McCoy around this motherfucker. And if they ain't learned, they about to learn real motherfucking quick because it's about to be a new transition and a new position going on around this bitch, okay? All right? It's fortune and good luck and prosperity come around this motherfucker. So anybody that did not, you know, that wasn't able to hold on during this transition. Good luck for you, bitch. Because let me tell you, it might have just been your judgment day to get the fuck on out my goddamn way, bitch. Please get the fuck on out my way. Because let me tell you something. I see you snake, nasty, scumbucket, fucking, ugh. I was about to say something really disgusting. But this card is disgusting enough. And I don't need to have vileness and just nastiness coming out of my mouth, okay? Because of this energy. I don't see it for you. I don't see it for you. And I see you for who you are. I know exactly what you are. I know exactly what you're trying to do. What you're not going to do. Okay? Because I believe that this is someone that is like third party energy most definitely. I believe that this is someone who had Libra. And also had a whole nother relationship, had a whole nother lifestyle. And they wanted you to continue to lay there and get fucked so they can do what the fuck they want to do. But you said, uh-uh, hmm. I could show you better than I'm going to goddamn run my mouth to you that I'm not about to fucking play with you. And I see your bitch ass for who the fuck you are. Next. Next. Because one thing that you're not going to do is continue. Because this person, what they try to do, they try to attach their self and get you addicted and feel bound and trapped to their energy. Where they wanted you to believe that you couldn't do and be anything without them. Do you understand what I'm saying? They try to control you and manipulate you by sex and by emotional trickery do you understand this person really 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 tried to grab you 
by the balls. They really, really did. And they were successful for a long time. Because this person looks good. This person feels good. Okay? You hear me? This person looks good. This person feels good. Okay? And I feel like this person has a very... A lot of very good qualities to them. But at the same time, there's a lot of toxic bullshit that comes along with them. I feel like, you know, in the light of the day, this person is a king and everything like that. But when it comes down to this person having to come home and be a man, this, this is a cheater. He's a manipulator. He is like everything that you don't want to be. You know, that you really don't want. And not only that, I feel like this person was immature. Even though he fancied himself as a king, he didn't tell you about this shit that was lurking on in the background with him. And then he also played with your emotions and made you feel like they were going to offer you something of true value and true commitment. They weren't offering you shit. They weren't offering you shit. Only thing that this person is trying to do right now is trying to delay the process of you leaving. You have called judgment. Your wheel of fortune is turning around for the better ever since you left this person. And this person feels you leaving, leaving, leaving a little bit more every day. And if you haven't packed your shit up and are in the process of moving to another state, it's just they feel your energy slowly you know, leaving. And it's just, they don't have control anymore. They don't have this control anymore because God said, you know what? It's time for this motherfucker to go back in the casket, in the dirt, where this motherfucker's from, the dirt. And my babies need to come on home. Send this motherfucker back to the dirt. My babies need to come on home. The Lord protect children and fools. Children and fools. And unfortunately, Libra, I'm going to be the one to tell you by the blessings of God, it might sound offensive by someone calling you a fucking fool. But by the graces of God, you being a fucking fool and not recognizing this person that this was who you was dealing with, that's the only reason why God saved you. <coughs> that's the only reason why God saved you because if you knew if you willingly went into the situation and you knew that this shit right here was going on, and Libra, you know good and goddamn well what you what I mean by this shit. You know what you was laying around getting fucked by. You know what the fuck was going on. If you willing, if you knew willingly that this shit was going on, and you walked willingly into the situation, God wasn't going to save you. He was going to protect everybody else that needed to be protected. In this situation, and he was going to send you back in the dirt with the one that, you know, everything done in the dark comes to the light. Remember that. Remember that. And because Libra might have made some messed up mistakes, might have made messed up mistakes by not seeing someone and recognizing energies. They didn't recognize the energy of this person and they really didn't see. They they really thought that this person was coming and was offering them something of good fortune and good value. Even though that there was a clear difference, you know, between who this person used to date in the past versus who you are. You felt like y'all different since brought y'all together. You know what I'm saying? And this you thought this person was offering you something solid. And this person wasn't offering you anything. It was all a lie. It was all manipulation. So that this person. This person seeing you as an easy vet. Like you were an easy vet. That's all that was. And they go to the devil card right here on the top too. Like this. This was a very toxic situation. I really do feel like it was. And I applaud you for finally using your judgment, Libra, and changing your fortune and taking this situation. Um, I, I applaud you for finally taking the situation and using the microscope and honestly looking at this situation without the rose-colored glasses on it. You were able to see that King of Wands for who he was. 
he really wasn't offering you nothing. Abandoned communication. Yeah, this person that you were dealing with, he doesn't feel your vibration. That's exactly what I'm saying. He doesn't feel your vibration. And this with a solid solitude and destruction. Yeah. And this person, yeah. You have any additional guidance in the mirroring? Yeah, okay. So this person that Libra was dealing with, they feel abandoned by Libra. Like I said, they never thought that Libra would boss the fuck up. People be thinking it's a game because they see that sweet shit and they see all that nice stuff and they think that they can play with Libra. Libra, I don't know who the fuck told them that shit. It's a balancing scale for one reason. There's good and bad and there has to be you understand? Libra just has a good way of just making sure that you only see the good, but they will get with your ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? They know how to tear shit down in their own way. That's them being close to that, that Scorpio side. Do you understand what I'm saying? Scorpios is about light and death and, and death and destruction and rebirth and re, you know what I'm saying? Revitalization. You know what I'm saying? That Phoenix energy. Libra know how to lean on closer to that Scorpio side and tear some shit down that need to be fucking destroyed. And you understand? They not that nice all the fucking time. And they abandon you. And that communication is something that this person misses. This person thought that they can always just easily have that line of communication with Libra. And it's not there anymore. Libra, you turned that wheel of fortune in their favor. And they are using their judgment now. And using that judgment means that they needed to abandon communicating with you. Period. 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 This person does not feel your vibrations anymore. And I could have sworn I said that earlier. I could have sworn I said that earlier. This person does not feel your vibrations. They feel that connection is fleeting. They don't have that control anymore. They feel like not only have you moved on, but you are kind of stepping out of this place of solitude like, where well, you're really ready to move on, move on, like, and start dating other people. And you completely destroy whatever foundation that was there with them. And Libra is mirroring their energy because when they were with you, they did, they did not give a fuck about what type of chaos and destruction and what type of turmoil they were putting Libra through. They didn't give a fucking shit. They didn't care what tornadoes that they were ripping through y'all's relationship. They didn't give a fuck. And now Libra don't give a fuck. Libra don't give a fuck. They're like, listen, this door is closed. I'm moving on with or without you. And, like, I don't need your permission. And you can't stall me. So, like, what? Like, child, please let this chapter close. And this is what you want. So this is what you get. Li Libra is mirroring. This asshole's energy. Hmm. Let people say, be careful what you ask for. You get the energy right back that you put out. That's the energy that they put out to Libra. That they didn't give a fuck. They was too busy fucking and doing whatever they wanted to do. In that low vibrational. In what I said, in this energy. This is what they were doing, right? They were doing this. And they were trying to drag Libra down in this energy, right? In this energy, right? They ain't give a fuck. So Libra don't give a fuck. So don't come to me now with this, oh, I'm not feeling your vibration and why you want to destroy and you just abandon me and you won't communicate with me. Nigga, wasn't that what you was doing when we was together? When I wanted to talk to you, when I wanted to work on things, when like you, you didn't, you didn't care. So, ah, you right. I ain't got no vibes for you. <laughs> I ain't got no vibes for you at all, babe. I'm going somewhere with that shit. That fuck. Embarrassment. This person is embarrassed because I feel like this person got to crawl back to the sewer. <laughs> They're embarrassed. Li listen. Listen, Belinda. Belinda done stepped through the place. What? 
Belinda is like, listen, I don't give a fuck if you embarrassed because you had to crawl back. You don't. You didn't have no one. You didn't have no one to begin with. You didn't have anything or anyone to begin with. And that's honestly why Libra took you in because they felt embarrassed for you. Because whoever this person was that was with Libra, like you really didn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. And it was kind of fucking pathetic. And Libra felt embarrassed for you and they felt like they were helping you and they loved you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Now you're in a place of embarrassment because now you're out in the street. Like, I feel like this person, Libra, is like couch surfing. This nigga is couch surfing, okay? And you are being completely cold to them. And they feel like you are projecting your energy on them. They, they feel like, okay, because you're cold and you're like in its destructive mode right now like they feel like libra is being destructive because you don't want to tolerate their bullshit who gives a shit like who gives a shit about what you think honestly so you can't tell me i'm fucking projecting i'm projecting the energy that needs to be projected to you because that's what you were giving me so like get the fuck out of here with this projecting shit someone needs to project the energy that you give off right back to you you bitch so get out of here with this bullshit. Yes, I'm being cold and I'm projecting. I'm giving you just what you want and just what you need, bitch. Fuck you mean. And you right, you are an embarrassment. Go get your shit together. Go get your shit together. Can't nobody embarrass you. Can't nobody put you in a predicament where you're couch surfing. You having to beg a ball and live from pillar to fucking post. If you take some pride in your fucking self and you get yourself together. If you had your shit together, you are an embarrassment to yourself. So miss me with that bullshit. Don't nobody feel fucking sorry for you. You are, if anything, I'm embarrassed that I was with a bitch ass nigga. What? I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed that I was with a weak ass motherfucker like you. I don't know what the fuck I was in love with. Yes, that is why I am cold and I am projecting your fucking energy and you ain't getting no vibrations, bitch. The fuck out of here. I'm guarded because my brain is so much more beautiful than ever dealing with anyone as of the as of the remedial likes of you. Nigga, you can't even go out there and get yourself a good ass job for real that you can take care of yourself by yourself. You gotta fucking live up under fucking women and goddamn mentally manipulate them and be emotionally abusive to them for you to keep up your lifestyle because you can't even take care of your fucking self. You're a <laughs> boy, I'm unavailable. I am unavailable. Okay? So please get the fuck. Get the fuck on. Like, stop trying to, like, you, you, you can't, you can't delay shit in my world. You can't delay shit in my world. I feel like this person is going around the neighborhood. They talking a lot of shit about you because every time you, they try to call, you're unavailable. Anything that you're, they're trying to do, you're cold, you're unavailable. You're like, nigga, what you figure? Fuck out of here fuck you mean bitch no cause y'all got me mad now fuck you mean like stop trying to play like people be trying to play and they be thinking shit's fucking sweet then when a motherfucker get mad and put a nigga in their place and shit now all of a sudden it's like oh Libra's a bad person Libra's being cold Libra's not fuck you Fuck you, bitch. Tell everybody about all that dumb ass shit that you was doing when we was together. You was being cold. And you wasn't being available. Motherfuckers don't want to tell. Don't want to talk about that shit, do they? They don't never want to address that shit. They only want to address what is going to benefit their plight to get what they want to whoever the fuck they're trying to manipulate at that time. Strange love. And you know what? One thing that I'm going to tell you, Libra, this strange love means... And this strange love card was in reverse, so I'm going to tell you what that meant and then what the card means for you in the future. So this strange love was in the reverse, okay? I feel like this was a strange love. I feel like this person that you fell in love with wasn't typically your type. 
and you typically go for something of a, a little bit more better quality than this person this person i honestly feel like when you met this person they did not have shit and it was literally you knew you were taking on a burden but you felt sorry for this person and you felt like you could help this person and that you could you took on a charity case okay this person was not on your level and this person will never be on your level okay and you felt at that time that this was a strange love and that love comes in different paces places and it, it was a mission on your heart you felt like God put on you to help this person but it's not it's not that person was legitimately a lesson and it was to teach you to stop being fucking giving to every goddamn body. Everybody ain't no fucking charity case and stop giving yourself to every goddamn body. The true love that is meant for you, you right. It ain't gonna be nothing like this motherfucker that you just left. It ain't gonna be nothing like none of the other motherfuckers that you were dating because them people, it's not what they look like. It's their energy. And I feel like energy wise. Um, Libra has been attracting damaged people. That needed to be fixed. And this person that you're about to attract. Is someone that is completely different than anything that you've ever dated in your fucking life. And this person don't need to be fixed. This person is going to come through and help fix and heal your heart. And really show you how beautiful love is. And this is a card that is going to remind you that a new strange love is going to come to you. Something that is completely out of the ordinary. Something that you have never experienced in your life okay so let me read this and then we're going to do a, a, a few clarifications and then we're getting up out of here so this says love is strange love doesn't always look like we thought it would thank goodness it's in the strange and surprising that the sweet love can be found. This odd little pair we have found much joy in each other. Comfort and delight. When this lovely pair, strange Valentine, comes to visit, you're about to be gifted with love, romance, and friendship from an unexpected and even unusual place. Don't let the differences keep you apart because... They are what is drawing you together. And when you are as delicate and fragile as you can be, someone as strong and protective as this gorgeous yet friendly Yeti can be just what you need. All right. They speak. The couple speaks. You have an enormous amount of cosmic help at this moment. And it's all focused on the area of your love life. You will soon receive very good news regarding a relationship. You will also do a lot of work in healing old wounds from past relationships. Especially past long term serious relationships. Now some of the news may not seem as great at the time. But please give yourself a chance to absorb the lessons because you were moving into a beautiful new phase in your romance life. Whether you will be free to create a wonderful new love for yourself, just know it's coming and it's coming very soon. The true message, you may experience a massive serve of emotional energy and new romantic beginnings. So it's very likely that you'll have an attractive encounter with someone or simply bump into someone who reawakens long lost feelings inside of you who may or may not be your type. But hooray, you'll wake up feeling bright, aware and dynamic. Something is feeling quite giddy and delightful and this is very good news love is indeed strange and love is indeed wonderful so something that is like nothing nothing nowhere near than this toxic bullshit that you keep attracting into your life is coming to you and you know that person that you were with that person was different in the sense that this person legitimately had nothing to offer you had absolutely the fuck nothing to give to you 
he didn't have nothing to give to you then and he doesn't have anything to give to you now i don't give a fuck if this person is working now i don't care what type of progress this person has made this person is still a devil energy this person still has low vibrational toxic energy that is a burden in your life and that is going to hold you down and the lord has called judgment and it's time for blessings and good fortunes to come into your life Libra. and they're not going to come as long as you have this person's energy in your life and that is why you are removing your vibrations that is why this person do not feel your vibes anymore this person cannot even feel your energy anymore because you have completely disconnected and you have mirrored you know that energy that this person was giving you after all of this time okay let's deal with what we got all right so this is listen this is the two of wands you have kept yourself blindfolded and you know been unaware and not able to see clearly and make you know solid mental decisions in regards to the situation for a long time for a very long time and you're finally turning your back and you're no longer entertaining any type of thoughts of love and commitment in regards to this relationship at all like you completely turned your back to it and even though that you've been moving away at a turtle's pace like you know turtles are a little bit slow but you know what when they're in their element in water they're a little bit faster than you think okay and you're slowly but surely getting the fuck away from this situation okay because you know true divine love don't feel like that and you know that true love is coming to you and i told you true love is coming to you very soon very soon and, and this is going to be somebody that i feel like you, you're this somebody that you don't know at all just someone that you don't know at all and this is someone that when you first meet them i don't think that you're going to feel like because they're not like the person that you that you're currently with. Because you think in your head that the person that you're currently with or the person that you're getting from, that this is the most sexiest man ever and things like that. And they're really not. Because this person that you're going to meet is something about their personality that is going to get you. And then once the personality gets you. Your eyes is just going, or it's like your pupils are going to just dilate. It's just going to open up super dumb big. And you're just going to really be able to take in all of this person's just massive beauty and charm and shit. And you're going to be like, come on, big zaddy. Big zaddy and the caddy. Big zaddy and the caddy, okay? Look, you don't got you big zaddy and the fucking caddy, bitch. All right? And listen, this is the moon in, you know, this is the moon in reverse. You got to understand, the moon card is about intuition. It's about intuition, and it's really about self-inner knowing. And the high priestess, this is the high priestess, she is birthed in these waters that are illuminated under the moon. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is like the birth of of the high priestess this is her like literally realizing hey i have two different options here okay i'm gonna go forth towards the life the light or i'm gonna go towards you know this green murkiness okay the light is understanding that even though i don't really know what the future has in store for me. I have to be guided by my intuition. I have to be guided by myself. And just know that I did not go through all of this shit for no reasons. All of these secrets. All of this stuff that came out about this person that I was dealing with. All of that shit happened for a fucking divine purpose. It was for my growth. It was for me to realize that I don't need these motherfuckers. I don't need them. I don't need them. Only if I have my own intuition, as long as I trust and I know who I am and what I bring to the table. I don't care what these people, ever they going to do it or they not. They going to love me or they not. They going to be here or they not. I'm not going to beg nobody. I'm not kissing nobody's ass. I'm tired of playing Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, I'm scared of what the future may have in, in store for me. Yeah, I'm scared, but I know as long as I'm guided by my own intuition. Okay? 
The high priestess is withdrawn. Okay? So under the light of the moon, a lot of shit has been illuminated to the high priestess. She has like immersed herself into the waters illuminated by the moon. And she has come out brand new. And she realized that she has murkiness and light in her hand. And it's like, am I going to hold myself back and allow my fears to mold and shape my reality? This is somebody that has... The power in their hand to decide what the fuck they're going to do. Are you going to let your fears continue to determine your reality and hold you back and limit you? Are you still going to be controlled by this bullshit? Okay? Because it ain't no secret no more. Are you going to continue to be controlled by this bullshit? Because guess what? This is the, 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 um, the moon in reverse. The secret is out. The secret is out. And now that you know everything that you need to know, you literally bathed yourself in that darkness to rebirth yourself so that you can see the life and understand your true power. So what are you going to decide? Are you going to, now that you know what you need to know, are you going to go forth towards new love because you turned your back on some shit? That was never offering you anything whatsoever. And even though it might take you a little time because of your nature right now, you just moving a little bit slow. But you finally turning your back to any of these offers of false love. And you realizing that you were holding yourself back being blinded by bullshit. You know? Are you going to choose the darkness? Or are you going to choose the light? Are you going to know? That I'm self-guided and I got to trust my intuition. Or are you going to doubt your power? Are you going to doubt all of this growth and all of this prosperity and this abundance that the world and the divine has given you? You truly have your own power. Are you going to let the unknowingly future of the world scare you so much that you won't move forward? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is up for you to decide. Like, the power is in you. Like, you are literally naked. You are literally naked right now. In front of... In front of... Uh, in, like, you are literally stripped naked right now in front of the divine. And it's like, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. I've given you love. I've shown you love. You know, i shown you true love. I've shown you self-love so that the true love can come to you. I've told you to turn your back. I've shown you. It's up to you. This is the high priestess, okay? So, this is someone, listen, this is fertility. No, this is fertility. This is an apple being split open so you can see what is really truly in the core of the situation here, all right? This is rebirth. Okay? And this is the Hierophant. Okay? Turning its back to you. Allowing you to make your own decisions. And to truly decide what you want to do. You understand all of these sacred codes and all of this stuff. I don't know what the fuck this shit means. You know what it means. But one thing that you know, that they are putting the power in your hand to fertilize and rebirth yourself anew. This is fertilization. This is being able to see the core of the problem. This is a baby. This is showing that you have rebirthed yourself anew and it's time for you to grow on your own. Okay? I can't teach you anything more. It's time for you to do it on your own. All right? There were lessons that should have been taught to you when you were younger that were never taught to you, okay? But it's time for you to not like... Because these are not solid pinnacles. These look like fictional pinnacles. It looks like something that someone is like, you know... Building something that, that that's imaginary, it's fictional, it's not solid, you know? Don't pretend to work on something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just because the people before you never truly showed you what a true foundation is, that don't mean for you to let that be an excuse for why you have not 
gotten that solid foundation and you have not truly worked on your own self mastery you have to work fucking hard it don't matter what the people before you didn't show you show your fucking self Show your fucking self. It don't matter. So what you didn't have a father in your life. Who cares? You understand? I feel like this is someone that is like, when they get in their low vibration, they be like, oh, but my mother, you know, was just and my mother wasn't there. My father wasn't there. And I don't know no better. You fucking know better. You know better. Do the work that it takes to get you. You can't nobody do it for you. Can't nobody teach you. You have to really use your own fucking intuition. And you have to learn to guide yourself. And to turn your back on shit that is not fucking having any value in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can't nobody fucking teach you that. You have to learn that shit on your own. You have to learn how to, to trust your intuition and to realize that this situation is not... It's costing me more than I am gaining in this situation. This situation is not benefiting you. You can go to the high priestess and you can cry till you are famished. But if you don't see the core of the situation, and if you are not able to rebirth yourself and to really start from scratch and not be scared to start from the beginning, what the fuck can the Hierophant teach you? They can't teach you shit. You have to learn this on your own. You have to learn to release shit that is not serving you. You. You had to be mentally clear. You had to become triumphant. You had to become unmovable. I made my decision. I know what I know. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all try to tell me. Who tried to, 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 to manipulate me? And try to make me see otherwise and make me feel guilty and feel like I need to help aid you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I, you know, whereas though I might have mourned things from the past in the, in the future. I mean, well, I might have mourned things in the past before. I know ain't nothing for me but what's behind me. And there's a brand new, there's literally a rose that just grew out of some fucking concrete. Do you understand? So I am turning around and paying my homage ashes to ashes and dust to dust because I got brand new solid love behind me and new growth and new development, okay? Turn the fuck around. Turn around. Turn around. And this is, you know what? I feel like, Libra, you've been through such a fucking trans transformation. You had to, like, surrender yourself to the universe and hang yourself out there. This is someone that has realized that, you know, I done been a fool for so long. I've allowed this person to hold me captive and keep me bounded to a situation that was so toxic for so long. I feel like you really had to hang yourself out there. And even though that you looked a fool to other people it's like no I needed to see shit from a different angle so I could see where I had went wrong what I was missing and that is like the true lesson of this moon card and the high priestess being in that moon card and her rebirthing herself and her merging herself out of that water do you understand what I'm saying and you understanding you know that she was birthed under the illumination of the moon she has full understanding of the light and the dark. Do you understand? She understands that it was true love. That is what is the core foundation. And you had to turn your back on something that was false love. And realize that you were blinding yourself. You were willingly holding a blindfold and being blinded to something that was right in front of your face. And that's why you had to put yourself out there like that. You had to just like take yourself, like literally relinquish your power to the universe so that the universe can show you what you needed to see because you weren't able to see it on your own. You weren't able to see it on your own. And now that you have done that, and you know what? 
a lot of people didn't understand what you were doing at that time. But now that they've realized what you're doing, they're almost amazed at your at your transition. Okay? You see that mask there on that ground? You see that broken mask there? All the secrets have been revealed. That snake represents wisdom. It represents wisdom. And do you see how you are like actually chilling? You literally put yourself there by yourself. Because you needed certain shit to be unmatched. You needed to get that wisdom. And the only way that you were able to see that is if you like relinquished your power to the universe and said, God, you know what? I'm lost. Just please. I give I, I give all my power. I give it all to you. Just 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 show me. Just show me. Please um clarify this by um the strange Valentine. And then we are up out of here for my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Yes, we are. Okay. So, all right. So, I feel like you snuck away in the nick of goddamn time. It might have been on the skull on the fuck nigga. You might have snuck away and left the skull of a fuck nigga behind. But at the end of the day, like I told you from the beginning, bitch, I'm like the goddamn um, Red Queen in, um, what's it called? Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Off with her head. Off with a fuck nigga head. Like... I had to realize that, listen, you're not going to continue to get away and sneak away anymore. I'm not allowing this shit to slide no more. For a matter of fact, I'm sneaking away. I done got out of the dodge. And I feel like something happened to this person that you got away from. I feel like you felt like you got away. You snuck away in the nick of time. Because I feel like right after you got away, like all hell just broke loose on this person and you're just like thank god that i got away thank god that i got away and i retreated and i was able to heal and that i was able to be by myself and get to this point where i'm at now because if i would have never snuck away if i'd have never snuck away my whole foundation would have burnt to the ground while I was sleeping and not paying attention. And I would have had no idea what the fuck happened. I would have woke up. Unaware of what the fuck happened. And this person would have snuck away in the midnight. Stolen and took everything that I had. And just left me there. I ain't even give a fuck if I made it out alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because that's how fucking nasty this person is. That's how nasty this person is. So you got away at the nick of time and you retreated and you got the mental clarity that you needed so that you can move forward and be prosperous and let true, new, strange love come into your life in the name of Jesus. Libra, I love you, baby. If this video resonated with you and if you would like to book a personal and private reading to get further insight, in regards to your direct situation, um, go ahead and click that hyperlink in the description. I mean, I'm sorry. There is the pay for our information in the description if this video resonated and if you want to give a love donation. Um, you can click that information for my PayPal in the description. Otherwise, you can book a personal and private reading in the About tab. I love you guys, and I will see you um, in March. I might not do a mid-month. It depends. It depends because I know I'm really behind. Um, so I don't want to do a video for February, and then literally next week I'm doing the mid-month, and then I gotta turn around and do March, so I think I might just skip the mid-month video, and I might just get back to, I'm going to get back to my regular schedule in March, so I love you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, peace.